so today I have a video on my go-to makeup look that I've been wearing quite a lot lately and it's just a really wearable look in my opinion so we'll just go straight on to it and I'm first going to moisturize my skin with my Garnier Moisture Match Cream and then apply my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and these two products really really hydrate my skin and then I'm taking my NARS sheer glow foundation and I know I recently got this foundation but I've just been using it non-stop lately and I'm going to blend this out with my damp beauty blender I'm also going to quickly show you how I've been doing my brows lately and I have been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I think I am in the shade Dark Chocolate but I'll, link, I'll write all the product details in the info box but literally this product is so easy to use and it's just really really quick and it's just made my eyebrow routine so much quicker so um, it comes with a spoolie and everything and it's just really really good and then I set my brows in with the Sleek clear brow gel which is an amazing brow gel as well it literally it's gel for your brows and then I can clean everything up with my naked skin concealer I do need to get my brows done so this just makes everything look much cleaner um, and then I applied some on my eyelids and this concealer as a base is so good for your eyeshadow like as a primer because I've been wearing this under my eyeshadow and my eyeshadow does not crease whatsoever so definitely try this out um, and then I quickly pack on some eyeshadow. I'm using Pure Ganache by Zoeva from the Coco Blend Eyeshadow Palette. And again, I've been using this palette non-stop lately as well. And then I grab this dark copper brownie shade and I'm applying this on the outer corner and making sure to blend it out with a clean fluffy brush as well. And I use a denser brush to pack the colour on onto the outer corner I did apply like two or three layers so that it shows up on camera because my bright light does tone down the colors a bit but trust me in real life that the shades are really really pigmented and bright I'm then going to use my NYC liquid eyeliner to do a winged eyeliner I do have a tutorial on this that you can go check out and I also use a makeup wipe to clean the edges and make the eyeliner look more sharp. And then I curled my eyelashes. This is my Avon eyelash curler that I've had for ages now and it's really, really good. And then for mascara, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational. I use the Intense Black one now. And this is, this. I prefer this one more than the other one, like the regular black one. And then I'm going to use my Naked Skin Concealer again and I'm applying this under my eyes and I use my Beauty Blender to blend out one eye under one eye first and then I set it in using the yellow powder shade from the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and yeah I just like this combination. I feel like it lasts the longest under my eyes and there's no creases at all. I'm taking Freshly Toasted from the Zoeva palette again and I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of my lower lash line and then taking Pure Ganache and applying this on the inner corner and I also went in again with more mascara on my lower lashes. Then to bronze up my face I've been using the NYX Matte Bronzer a lot lately and this I think I'm in the shade deep but this bronzer has been everything to me lately I've just been using it so much and it just adds color to my face and makes it it just it's just really nice really and I use a big fluffy Sephora brush every time I use this powder but you can just use any fluffy brush you have and it, I think it blends nicely on the skin and yeah I've just been using it a lot really and then I go in also on top with my Sephora Blush Me in Brun. If you can get this blush, definitely try and get it because it's just amazing for like if you're around my skin tone as a like bronzer or even a blush. It's just really really pretty. And then to highlight, I'm using the shade that's crossed on the picture on the right. Um, I've been using this one a lot as well lately. Th this is kind of like a very common makeup look that I've been doing a lot and I use these products so much lately so 
yeah I've been loving this highlighter it just gives a really nice natural glow to the face I'm then going to take bitter start from the palette and highlight my brow bone with this and it's a very pigmented white matte shade I'm so surprised with this shade and then I'm setting everything with my primer water again and then for lips I'm using my Gerald Cosmetics 1995 lipstick literally I'm running out of this lipstick I just love it so much and it's just an amazing shade for my skin tone so definitely get this it's available on Beauty Bay if you live in the UK and they're like around 11 pounds which is alright for a lipstick and then I go in with my LA Girl Natural Lip Liner and I just kind of outline my lips and give more definition to my lips. It just cleans the edges a bit and it's kind of like the same shade as the lipstick. So this is the makeup look that I've been wearing a lot lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye guys.